According to 2022 department figures, 20 police officers are leaving the force every month, and replacing them costs the city $4 million in onboarding costs alone. Lieutenant Brian Avera is a 16-year veteran of the police department and the director of the San Diego Police Officers Association. He says child care plays a big role in that equation. Our child care project really originated with a phone call uh, with one of our members that needed help uh, with child care. And we heard that and we actually wanted to do something about it. That officer's phone call saying they could no longer afford to work for the department because of child care opened the floodgates. Once we started talking about it, we had a lot of, of officers reach out and ask us for assistance. And that's really what caused us as, as I like to say, put one foot in front of the other through this difficult project and get to where we are four years later. Where they are four years later is a partnership with KinderCare to develop a first-in-the-nation program specifically to address child care issues in police officers' families. That got unanimous approval from the San Diego City Council for the lease agreement and a $3 million state grant. Uh, we're very happy to see that that passed uh, unanimously. This is definitely a win-win um, uh, solution to what we're hearing from police officers every single day is that uh, because of their their odd hours, it's difficult for them to find suitable child care uh, for them to to keep San Diego safe. Council member Chris Kate says the child care center will be developed in an existing building in Kearney Mesa. He also says while no city money is being used for this project now, this is something future city council members might consider when the money runs out. I am getting contacted uh, through every means available by members um, of our police department and saying, please, uh, please get me on that, that list. Officers are already hoping to get their children into this center that still needs a million dollars worth of renovations. The SDPOA plans to fund the program once the grant money runs out in five years through their fundraising campaigns. Kitty Alvarado, KPBS News.